Hello, and welcome to today's SAP Business One video on resource master data within the resource module. Today, I'm going to give you a quick overview on the features and functionalities of the resource master data. To get to the resource master data, we'll go into our menus, click on resources, and click on resource master data. This is where you'll populate all information for your resources within the system. Right now, we are currently in find mode. If I plug in my wildcard here and click enter, it'll pull up all, a list of all the resources within the system. If I choose this milling machine here, it'll populate the resource code and the description within the milling machine and the time per unit and its cost. We can see here that the issue method is set to backflush for a production standpoint, and we can see all of the resource cost as well, and it's based off of the resource group. If I click on capacity data, here's where we define our capacity data here, as well as our planning data on how much capacity it can do from a day-to-day -day basis. If there's fixed excuse me, fixed assets associated with this resource, you have the ability to populate that information here, as well as define a property to segment for an organizational standpoint on this resource. And Business One has the ability to set up to 64 different properties. Any attachments that you'd like to add about this resource can be done here, as well as additional remarks. This concludes my video on resource master data. Thank you for listening.